Mornington Wilderness Camp comprises of two main components, an ecological research side and an eco-tourism and hospitality side. The hospitality side is centered around a huge restaurant and bar area with an outdoor seating area. Guests can enjoy reasonably priced good food, well-priced drinks, and an evening presentation out on the lawn about what the AWC and the research center is up to. Guests have two options when it comes to accommodation, the cheaper and more rustic campsite, or the higher end uh, safari tents, which I think there's 10 of, um, beautifully positioned overlooking the lovely Annie Creek, yeah, exactly. but they do come at a price. Okay. Mornington Camp is an oasis out on the Gibb River Road. It offers the weary traveller a nice little respite, the opportunity to have a drink and relax. The camp also has lots of information about the surrounding environment, the animals that are there, and the research projects that are being undertaken on the research side. Mornington has some seriously impressive gorges open up to the public, like beautiful Sir John Gorge. Either in your own vehicle or on some of the pre-arranged tours, you can travel for about 30 minutes to an hour down some really bumpy tra tracks and go to some of the great gorges on offer. Get a nice little dip in, in a beautiful river. Out in the outback. Visiting in the early dry season guarantees some nice flowing water to take a dip in. So this is the Annie Creek Trail. One of the little walks you can do within the campsite it's about half an hour it takes you through a ripe area environment and has lots of information on well presented boards throughout the yeah, walk cicadas and the new shells or well, left their bodies behind So this is Annie Creek. So today we've been picked up by some of the lovely hospitality staff and they're taking us to a remote spot called Maggie's Falls or Maggie's Creek or Maggie something or other. I suppose it's a stunning waterfall. We've driven about an hour down the bumpiest track in the world and uh, gonna go for a swim in a beautiful creek, which I'm really looking forward to. Woohoo! You got a lot, yeah. There you go. Right. Step all the way down. Due to the incredibly large wet season that had just taken place, Diamond Gorge was still closed to us, so we have no experience of going there. 
Instead, we spent quite a lot of time down at Bluebush, which would personally was my favourite spot in the whole of the Mornington Wilderness Camp. The nice soft sands and the flowing river made it a perfect place to kick back in the afternoon, relax and play about.